Happy Saturday over here in the Bay Area. It's raining out here. It's raining out here right now. Um, another quarantine weekend. Another day of trying to stay, you know, busy when you have to stay home. Um, trying to stay positive, you know what I mean? It's getting tough. It's getting tough. Let me tell you, I've had my days. I've had my days. It's getting pretty damn tough, you know, because not to say that I'm a person that's always out because I'd be lying to you, but just that freedom of, you know, hey, I do want to get up and get out and uh, walk somewhere or go somewhere, uh, drive somewhere, you know, without having to feel all the... All the things you need to be worried about. But uh, just trying to stay strong. Just trying to stay positive. Um, I guess I'm going to sound pretty repetitive in, in these in these uh, times. When it gets overwhelming, I stay away from the social media. Um, I go from days of... Um, I hope I don't come off like rude sometimes because... What I try to do on my social media, like I'll look at it and it says a whole bunch of sad shit and, you know, all the facts and shit. And sometimes that shit gets to me. So then I say, let me try to put out like funny shit, you know, and then um, I'll just start pushing out funny stuff or, you know, on uh, just to see if we can just get a laugh or, you know, uh, because, um, you know, I know that in a time when I'm not feeling good or I'm feeling sad about the situation, it's always nice to... Here's somebody to try to lift up their spirit. So that's what I try to do. Some days I just like put out a bunch of funny stuff just so if anybody can chuckle about this fucking situation, why not? You know, why not? And uh, so just trying to stay positive. Um, and then I think about, you know, like our all our generations, all the things our, 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 our people had to go through and all that stuff, and how far we've come, so it just makes me reflect on life, and you know, like I said before, this is a time to like humble all of us, and just be like, uh, you know, thankful for our little families, and we have them, our homes, our food, and, uh, but it still gets hard, it still gets hard, um, and I still try to stay positive, so, you know, my kids are like, man, you're making bomb ass food. You're fucking, you know, because you know during the week of work, you pretty much. I don't know about. I'm speaking for myself, you know. Um, we eat out. We'll we'll do things to order out, or we'll um, do things that are quick. I will choose to do things that are quick. You know what I mean? Like the easy stuff, spaghetti. You know, easy stuff. The stuff that I could just come home and boom, 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 put it together because you know I got to get back into going to sleep and going to getting the kids to school, but right now that that's not the way it is, I've been, you know, trying to make things that I haven't made, uh, I haven't had time to do, and um, my daughter, she's really good at doing things too, she's really good, and um, she's like, you know, maybe we can make this, and maybe we can make this, so today I'll be sharing something she made, she, she made donut, donut holes, and they are very good, so today I'll be sharing my daughter's dessert and these are cinnamon and sugar donut holes and they are delicious she said would you want me to make some for your video i said yes i'd love to so look at how big they are all i need is some coffee or something i don't know if you can see the steam coming out fresh off the press Mm-hmm. 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 She's like a sweet, sweet tooth. She'll be making pancakes. She'll be making, but these are delicious. Mm. And one of her good qualities is that she has patience. So she does all these great things, and it is delicious. Mm. Yeah. Uh, hey, look, this is an old, I really want to know. Why, you guys? 
I've been making these videos, um, I would say like a month be before my birthday. My birthday is in November. So I have quite a few videos now, you know. Mm. And some have more views than others, you know. Some are more spunky. Some are more funny. You know, because everything changes, right? Every mood changes. And I gotta say, in all these videos that I made, I don't even know how many I've made. I think more than 20. Today I got my first, my first, first fucking hater on these videos. I mean, I've had haters all my life, but like, you know, actually make a fucking comment. And, um, uh, I know that's part of, that's how my son was saying, well, that's how you know you're making it, mom, because there's always haters, you know? And yeah, that's true. That's true. I've had a few, um thumbs down but to leave a a comment is another thing and all I gotta say is to that is in all my videos if you just look at them okay you see my big ass face you see my big ass body there ain't nothing I'm not hiding it over here I'm not doing one of those pictures that just shows this much I let you see it okay I let you see my blemishes Yes, I can go put my face on. Yes, I can fucking push my tits up. and But no, I just keep it real. So right away, when you see my videos without even clicking on them, you see my big ass mug. So first of all, if you think my big ass mug is going to be a skinny body after that, you're fucking stupid. Okay? So you see I'm a big fucking woman. You could just stroll without even playing the videos and say, oh, look at all her titles or every other one that's food. Okay? And you can make a decision at that moment. Wow, it's a big bitch. Wow. Every other thing is fucking food. And if that ain't your thing, move right along. Move right along. Okay? Move right along. There's plenty of video videos on YouTube for everybody. You can find yourself bimbos. You can find yourself skinnies. You can find yourself whatever you want, whatever you're into. Okay? So, if you don't like my videos, if I threaten you in any kind of way, just don't waste your time. Okay? Don't waste your time. Because in my videos, I will be making, or I'll be talking about food. I'll be snacking. Um, I might be talking shit, you know. So, if this is not your forte, move along. Move right along, okay? Because right here, I'll be living my best life. Trying to live my best life. Eating. Okay? If you want to uh, see fucking water and fucking spinach and fucking kale, click on the fucking kale and spinach and water videos. It's real simple. Because this right here is a fucking donut hole, cinnamon sugar donut hole, and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. You're so much And my girl made these donut holes out of this. Okay? Donut holes. She looked it up. Did it right here in my house. And they are delicious. All you need is a glass of milk, a nice cup of coffee, and bada bean. Okay? 
So what I'm telling you is it's affordable, it's easy, and it's delicious. But I ain't gonna give that negative energy any more of my time. That's all I wanted to say about the negative energy person. Mm. Right now, all I'm hoping for is for us to get to over this. And everybody's getting excited about this money, but that everybody should be getting, which is a good thing. I'm not saying it is. I think it's a way of him trying to get uh, presidency for the next next time. But, you know, the thing about that is, is that, yes, we need it. I'll be spending it as soon as I get it, for sure. It just makes me nervous because everybody's, right now, a lot of people don't have, I mean, if you have saved money, that's great. But the people that are doing check to check are pretty much, you know, living off of what they had saved and, you know, like that. So, in some ways, it's kind of good because if you don't have a lot of money, I thought that's a lot of money, but, you know, if you don't have to go out, but that's kind of better because then you're, like, saving yourself, right? Because, you know, once everybody gets a little extra money, then they're going to want to be out there again. And I know it's that's the whole purpose of it, to boost the economy. and But that means everybody gets in the circle of getting out there, getting exposed. So, shit, it's kind of, it's a very trick, tricky thing. It's got to be tough. I mean, you know, you could say, well, you know, I could do shopping online and, but still like they're saying like the Amazon shit, um, some of it's, uh, you know, since it's like some of the packages are still going to be, um, <clears throat> can have that shit on him. So what I'm really hoping for and praying for is that we get past this and that, uh, it happens soon because it's raining on my parade, you know what I mean? And not just mine, I know the world's. And uh, trying to stay positive, it gets hard. It gets hard. But uh, I'm wishing the best for everybody. And um, just trying to, you know, watch the movies, do my prayers. My kids, you know, get me going because they do little things like that. And Man, after this... I tell once things get serious, you know, we're going to go back to making quick meals again. Because now, right now, I'm over here exploring and making things I haven't made in a long time. But once this is over, I'm going to go back to my quick quick meals. I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope everybody's doing safe with their families. I hope you're keeping your mind busy. Uh, I was talking to my brother, and he was like, man, I, I just miss the simple things of, you know, going to see your... Your, your normal spots you go to and say hi to, you know, Bill, Bill and stuff. And I totally know what you mean because I drive over to my Starbucks and there's a line like, like that's where they're selling toilet paper. And then uh, I want to just see my normal, what do they call them? Batista, Batista, the servers. That's so nice and happy. I don't know. I was like, huh? It's just like, it's just different, you know? You go to certain places to see normal faces. You know, like Cheers, you know? You want to go where everybody knows your name. Well, that shit ain't happening right now. <laughs> that shit ain't happening right now, so it gets a little crazy. And uh, another thing that holds me through is music. Music is a very... I mean, it takes me on my highs, it takes me on my lows... Uh, I hate to hear all my going going music because it makes me miss the gym when I do all my little walking on my treadmill. You know what I mean? Shh. But uh, we gotta do what we gotta do to keep it moving forward. I hope everybody's having a good time with their family. I hope you're keeping busy. I hope you're keeping healthy. Wash your hands. Those uh, I was watching those D. How do you say it? It's a DIY or what? DIYs. DIYs. Well, you know, because since everybody's going out of the, um, using all, buying up all the Clorox wipes, I seen how you can get a bottle, you can put alcohol, you could put aloe vera, and then you have your own hand sanitizer. And then I seen where you have like a, 
you know, the baby wipes. You wash it out. You put your own little towels, you know, like like washcloths. You put alcohol in it. You put dish soap in it, and you put water. And I'm like, she's, you know. So stay strong, stay healthy. I wish you guys nothing but love, and uh, I'm praying for this to pass. This too shall pass, as they say. I'm praying for um, my loved ones. I hope you pray for your loved ones, and uh, I hope you guys all stay positive, and I hope you guys have a good, safe weekend, and, uh, you know, my love and support and... Uh, Happiness goes out to everybody, okay? Stay strong. Till next time. Happy Saturday. And I hope you enjoyed watching me talk. And you too can have donut holes. Have a good one. Peace and love.